What is up YouTube? Back in Madden 23, if you like Madden rebuilds, career simulations, and Madden experiments, then you came to the right place. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. If you have suggestions of other type of videos you want to see, whether it's a rebuild, a career simulation, or an experiment, go ahead and post it down in the comments and I'll definitely try to do it and feature your comment in the video. That being said, today we're doing the Philadelphia Eagles 5 year rebuild. I did a rebuild of them like 3 months ago whenever the Madden first came out, but they have updated the team a lot and they've gotten a lot better since then so wanted to do a new rebuild since the team is actually doing really well Jalen Hurts is 85 with superstar Dev definitely deserves that Miles Sanders is 88 with normal Dev we got AJ Brown 92 X Factor Devontae Smith 86 with star Dev Dallas Goddard's 89 with star Dev Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey both have superstar Dev the offensive line is actually really freaking good Defensively, we got Fletcher Cox with Superstar Dev, Darius Slay got uh, X Factor, he's a 94 overall, Hassan Reddick's 87 with Star Dev, we got Bradbury with 86 with Star Dev, Gardner Johnson's 85 with Star Dev, this team is freaking loaded. We also got Davis, the rookie defensive tackle, so I think I'm going to go ahead and try to trade Hargrave to make sure that Davis gets playing time so he can develop. I think he's on a one year deal anyways and he's already 29 years old, so look at it real quick. Yeah, he's on a one-year deal for $17 million. What the heck? Yeah, definitely going to try to trade him away to make room for uh, Davis to be the starting defensive tackle there. Edwards is a 83. White's a 75. Epps is a 76. So let me go ahead and trade Hargrave, and then we'll get started. Uh, also, just so y'all know, I did start at the beginning of the regular season. I'm not doing the play now stuff anymore because Madden screwed that up. So we're going to be acting like this is a whole brand new season starting at the beginning of this year. The Chicago Bears were really interested in Hargrave, the defensive tackle, and they gave me a second round pick. I didn't even try to get a first round pick because that wouldn't be realistic. I don't even know if a second round pick is realistic for him, but we'll take what we can get. The midseason point, not off to as good a start as I was hoping. We're 3-3, three three, second in the division to the 5-2 and two Cowboys. The Giants are 3-4, and four, and the Commanders are 1-6. and six. See what's going on here with the players ready to negotiate. We got $102 million in cap space. Definitely want to bring Jason Kelsey back, but he's 34 years old, so I'm going to wait till the end of the year. He's probably going to regress to him. We might be able to get him a little bit cheaper. Miles Sanders, 25 years old, 88 overall, star dev. I'll go ahead and try to offer him this year five years, or offer him this deal five years. Not considering short deals, a five-year deal for a running back is ridiculous anyways. James Bradbury, 29 years old, I'm going to wait till the end of the year and see. He's probably going to regress some. Gardner Johnson, I definitely want to try to bring him back. He wants five years, 48 mil. He's not extremely interested in resigning, so I'm going to bump him up to a six-year deal. He wants more, too. This is the problem with having a team that's loaded. Everyone wants to get paid a bunch, so you can't keep everyone around. TJ Edwards, I'm going to wait till the end of the year and see if he jumps up to start dev or not. Brandon Graham's 34. I'm waiting on him. All these guys that are older, they're probably going to start regressing, so I'm just going to wait till the end of the year. End of the regular season, we finished 10 and 7, second in the division to the 11 and 6 Cowboys. We did make it to the playoffs. The Commanders went 7 and 10, and the Giants went 6 and 11. Let's see what happened over here with the season stats. We have the 20th ranked offense. I left the playbooks and everything the way that they are default for the Eagles, and defensively 18. Jalen Hurts threw 4,300 yards, 29 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 69% completion with the 106 rating. So that's a great season from him. Awesome production. Miles Sanders had 859 yards, 3.9 per carry with 13 touchdowns. Jalen Hurts had uh, over 500 yards with 5 yards per carry and 7 rushing touchdowns as well. Quez Watkins led the team in receiving yards. What the heck? 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. AJ Brown had 980 with 5 touchdowns. Goddard had almost 900 yards with 8 touchdowns. Devontae Smith, 800 yards, 6 touchdowns. Defensively, Kazir White led the team in tackles with 126, TJ Edwards had 106, and Gardner Johnson had 102. Brandon Graham led the team in TFLs with 18. Son Reddick had the most sacks with 9. Graham had 8.5, Fletcher Cox had 8.5, and, and Josh Sweat had 7.5. Interceptions, Slay had 4, Maddox had 3, along with Marcus Epps. Bradbury had 2, Hassan Reddick and White and Gardner Johnson all had 1 interception. Going to be playing against the 10 and 7 49ers in the first round, the wild card round. We also had the Buccaneers against the Commanders, the Cowboys against the Seahawks, and we got the Packers getting a first round bye week. Unfortunately, we ended up losing to the 49ers 28 to 24, so our playoff hopes are over. Somehow, the Packers ended up winning the Super Bowl against the Chiefs 31 to 28 to win their fifth ever Super Bowl. Devondre Campbell won Super Bowl MVP. 
Lamar Jackson won MVP of the regular season with the Ravens. Chris Roberts won Coach of the Year with the Jets. Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald won Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year for the billionth time. Christian Watson won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Packers. Aiden Hutchinson won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Lions. The punter Brett Kern retired after 15 years. We have $121 million in cap space. Definitely want to try to bring Jason Kelsey back. He wants one year $12 million. He's down to a 90 overall, but he still has superstar dev. Off from that deal, he's coming back. Miles Sanders, 26 years old. We offered him a five-year deal, but he said it wasn't long enough. Well, we're going to offer him the same deal and see what he says. He wants to test out free agency. This guy's tripping. How much is the franchise tag? 11.9 mil? It's not too bad. I'll consider it when we see what else we have to do real quick. James Bradbury, one-year, 12 mil. Offer it to him. He wants to go to free agency to all these guys. Gardner Johnson, definitely want to bring him back. He's 27 so offer him a six-year deal. He wants to go to free agency. Man, all these guys. TJ Edwards is up to 84. He still has no more dev. Wants a four-year deal for 36 million. I'll go ahead and offer it to him. He's coming back. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to be like, nope, going to free agency. Like all these other dudes. Brandon Graham, 35 years old. He's down to a 78 overall with no more dev. Probably going to move on from him. Let's see, Isaac, the right guard. I don't know how you say his last name. Sumalo? I'm not sure how you say it. He wants two years, $17 million deal, and he's a scheme fit. He has a lot of interest. I'll go ahead and offer it to him. He wants to go to free agency, too. All right, well, everyone's just going to free agency. Free safety Marcus Epps has no interest in returning. Probably going to move on from him. He's already 27 years old, 77 overall. He's, he's going to start regressing after next year, so... Kazir White has a lot of interest in coming back. Did lead the team in tackles, and he wants three years, 19 million. That's really not that bad. 76 overall, though, with normal dev. Nah, I don't think I'm going to hold off and see what we can do. If we have to, we can bring him back in free agency. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be bringing any of these other guys back. So let's go back over here and see who do we want to franchise tag. Miles Sanders or CJ Gardner Johnson. How much is the Gardner Johnson franchise tag? 11.2 mil? I'll go ahead and offer that to him. Or I will do it to him, the franchise tag. So we're for sure getting him back. And then now we're going to the free agency. So what the team is looking like before free agency, we need to get a new right guard. And we also need to try to get Miles Sanders or at least a decent running back signed. So check out the defense. We need another outside linebacker and another free safety. And we need another cornerback, probably like a number two or even a number three corner. We need another defensive end. And Jordan Davis has superstar dev. That's good to see. Fletcher Cox jumped up to X Factor. Awesome. All right, so let's see what happens in free agency in the draft. Free agency actually went pretty well. We were able to get Miles Sanders back. I ended up having to offer him a six-year deal in order to get him. Got James Bradbury back. We, like pretty much the recurring theme is that all the guys that didn't want to sign with us, we ended up getting most of them back. Got a new punter. We ended up getting Deshaun Elliott. I'm gonna move him to free safety, either him or Gardner Johnson. I'm gonna figure that out later. Also got Isaac back. Got Brandon Graham back. He was the best overall defensive end that was available. And Kazir White got him back too. Here in the first round, we have pick number seven. We actually have two first round picks. We have another one that's at pick 22, and we also have two second round picks. So. Need to try to hit these picks good because these guys are going to be cornerstones for the next four years of this rebuild. So pretty much I have Christian Gonzalez 100% scouted. He's a true first round talent, but he's not a scheme fit at cornerback. And then I have Jordan Addison, deep threat wide receiver. He's not a scheme fit either, but he's 100% scouted. He's a true first round talent. And then we got Cam Smith and we got Clark Phillips uh, scouted 100%. So... I'm not sure what to do. Should we take a wide receiver or should we take a cornerback? I guess we'll go ahead and take the wide receiver, Jordan Addison from USC, six foot, 175 pounds, 21 years old. He has great acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, good jumping, good speed. He's got hit in dead with 92 speed. So we're just loading up a wide receiver for Jalen Hurts. Looks like I did the right thing by drafting the wide receiver first because here we are at pick 22 still in the first round and Christian Gonzalez is still available and he's a true first round talent. I'm gonna go ahead and draft him next. He's 20 years old, 6'2", 200 pounds. 20 years old, he's freaking young. 
Good acceleration, good jumping, good speed, good strength. He has B-man coverage, C-zone coverage, A-press, A-catching. Hitting dead with 92 speed, nice. Here in the second round, we have the first pick in the second round. I'm going to draft this left tackle, Jalen Duncan from Maryland. He's 6'5", 320 pounds. He's a power scheme fit. Only having 50% scouted. He's 22 years old. Good acceleration, good change of direction with good strength. Normal dev, 88 strength. Here in the second round again, pick 22. I'm going to take this other left tackle, Jackson Kirkland from Washington. He's 6'7", 310 pounds. He's a power scheme fit. Probably thinking like, why am I drafting all these offensive linemen? Well, all our offensive line is like really good, but they're going to be wanting to get paid a lot. So we're going to have to let some people go. This guy's 24 years old. That's pretty freaking old, but he's 6'7", 310 pounds. He has good acceleration, good change of direction, solid strength. Normal dev, 86 strength. Maybe it wasn't such a great pick. I'm going to draft this running back, Zach Charbonnet from UCLA. He's 6'1", 220 pound, elusive back. I mean, that's a pretty big running back for being an elusive. I'm going to draft him just because he has the potential to have A and a lot of stuff. He's 21 years old. Good acceleration, great jumping. He has solid speed with good strength. He has the second fastest 40. He has A trucking. He's got hit in dead with 90 speed, 84 change of direction, 78 strength. Fourth round, I'm going to draft this defensive end, Baldonado from Pittsburgh. He's a power rushing scheme fit. He's 6'4", 260 pounds. Only having 50% scouted, but I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on him. He's 22 years old. Says that he's a, a top fit for the Eagles down there, so that's good. Great acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, great jumping with good speed. Normal dead with 81 speed, 78 strength. In the fifth round, I'm going to draft this tight end, Benjamin Yurasek from Stanford. He's 6'4", 235 pounds, possession scheme fit, only having 50% scouted. He's 21 years old. He has great jumping, great speed, and great strength, and he has the fastest 40 of all the tight ends. Awesome. He's got normal dead with 84 speed. First round pick, wide receiver Jordan Addison. We took him with the seventh pick. He's a 75 overall. We did see that he has hidden dev. He's already a captain on the team. What the heck? It has a C up there by his name. I don't know about all that. And then the other first round pick, Christian Gonzalez, the cornerback. He's a 75 overall as well. So we got two great players in the first round. Hit and dev, and he's only 20 years old. Duncan was only a 71. Kirkland's a 66. And this running back, Charbonnet from UCLA, ended up being a 74 with hit and dev as well. Freaking awesome. He's an elusive and power back. Dude looks like he could be a beast for real in the long term. Baldonado is only a 68. Eurosex only a 64. And then the computer drafted the 65 overall cornerback in the seventh round. He has no more dev and he's already a captain as well. What the heck? Check out the entire NFL draft. I did use the realistic draft class, but I try to use different ones every time that I download off of Madden Share. Number one overall pick was Will Anderson, 78 overall. Jalen Carter was the highest in the draft with a 79 overall. So yeah, this draft class has guys a little bit more lower because there's usually like a few guys that are in the 80s. Anderson was a 78. Robinson, B. John Robinson, 78. Bryce Young was a 76, went to the Giants. Any other quarterbacks up here? C.J. Stroud went to the Lions, 74 overall. And I'm trying to see if anybody else drafted a quarterback. Usually the Buccaneers always draft one. But whatever. There's a starting lineup for season two. Jalen Hurts is up to 88 with superstar dev. I'm going to end up making Charbonnet the backup running back. I'm going to trade away Gamewell to make sure that Charbonnet gets some reps. And then we got A.J. Brown's is 94 with superstar. Smith is 87 with star. Addison, the rookie we just drafted. I'm going to make him the third receiver. Make sure that he plays in the slot. So I'm going to end up getting rid of Quez Watkins to make sure that that happens. Offensive line is looking awesome. Dallas got her to eight, uh, 90 overall with Superstar. Defensively, we got Slay with X Factor. Fletcher Cox has X Factor. Maddox is 81 overall with Star Dev. Bradbury is 85 with Star. I want to make Gonzalez the starter. Well, not the starter, but the third corner. And make sure that he plays in the slot. So I'm going to end up trading away Maddox. Maddox is 81 overall. He's 27 years old, so he's pretty much reached his full potential. Had an 81 overall, so I just want to get him off the team and make sure that the computer doesn't mess with the depth chart. We'll make sure that Gonzalez gets an uh, opportunity to develop. And then we got a left 
Deshaun Elliott at strong safety, and I'll move Gardner Johnson to free safety since he's a little bit faster. He's 88 overall with Star Dev over there. Son Reddick's 88 with Star Edwards is a 85 with Noma Dev, and then Kazir White is a 77 with Noma Dev. Ended up trading the running back game well, wide receiver Watkins and cornerback Maddox to the Falcons for a second round pick. I tried to get a first round pick, but they didn't want to do that. They wanted a little bit more. Can only add three people in one, so second round pick for th these guys aren't going to play at all. It's a good trade for me. At the midseason point, we're four and three off to an okay start. The Giants are five and two. The Cowboys are four and three, and the Commanders are two and five. Let's see what players we have to negotiate. We we got 29 million in cap space, and Jalen Hurts' deal is up. So, man, and Darius Slay and Jason Kelsey, Gardner Johnson, Fletcher Cox. We don't even have enough money to bring Jalen Hurts back, do we? Try to offer him a deal and see what he says. Yeah, we're going to be in minus 4 million. Let's try to go with 5-year deal. Let's just see if we can offer him a deal, period. He's probably going to turn it down because we don't have no money to offer him. Let's offer him that. Don't try and exploit my passion for this franchise with that low and offer again. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not going to be resigning anybody. End of the regular season, somehow we went 9-8, and eight, but we still made it into the playoffs, so we got lucky there for sure. The Cowboys went 12-5, and five, the Giants went 10-7, and seven, and the Commanders went 8-9. and nine. Check out the season stats. I'm still running the same offense with the Eagles and defense. Number 10 ranked offense. Number 13th ranked defense, so not bad at all. Jalen Hurts threw 4,300 yards, 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 66% completion with the 103 rating. That's a pretty good season from him. Miles Sanders had 1,267 yards, 4.6 per carry with 14 touchdowns. Charbonnet had 230 yards, 3.4 per carry with 3 touchdowns. Since we're having pr uh, trouble with the salary cap, we might have to end up moving on from Miles Sanders. I know we just paid him this big deal, but we're going to have to free up some money somewhere. So I'm hoping that Charbonnet has a really good dev trait so he can be the, the new starter for us. Devontae Smith had 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. A.J. Brown, 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Rookie receiver Addison had 900 yards, 7 touchdowns. Goddard had 700 yards with 6 touchdowns. Defensively, T.J. Edwards had the most tackles with 124. Kazir White had 110. Son Reddick had 12 TFLs along with Josh Sweat. Sacks barely got anything here. Hassan Reddick had six and a half. Fletcher Cox had six. Brandon Graham had five and a half. Sweat had four and a half. Darius Slay had six interceptions. That's awesome. Kazir White had four. Elliott and Bradbury both had two. TJ Edwards and Gonzalez had one. Gonna be playing against the 12 and five Cowboys in the wild card round of the playoffs. Check out the playoff bracket. We got the 49ers against the Giants, the Packers against the Falcons, and the Buccaneers got a first round bye week. We ended up beating the Cowboys 35 to 20. Nice. Now we're going to be going against the 12 and 5 Buccaneers in the divisional round of the playoffs. So they're the number one seed. So definitely the hardest route for us. And then we got the Falcons against the Giants. Again, the underdogs prevail. We beat the Buccaneers 38 to 24, going against the 10 and 7 New York Giants in the next round, or well, actually in the NFC Championship game. And then we have the Ravens against the Bills in the AFC Championship game. See, the Giants beat the 49ers, and they beat the Falcons. Here we go, NFC Championship game. We're down 7-0 in the first. Now it's 7-3 in the second. Now we're up 10-7 in the second quarter. Now we're losing 21-10 in the second. 21-17, we're still losing. Third quarter, 21-17. Now we're up 24-21. Giants scored, they're up 28-24. Now they're up 35-24. We're losing by three points in the fourth quarter. Now we're up 39-35. Can we hold them off? Oh, it looks like we got the win going to the Super Bowl. Number seven seed, nine and eight in the regular season. Stats from that NFC Championship game. Jalen Hurts threw five touchdowns, 437 yards. That's freaking crazy. Did throw two interceptions. And then the Giants had the rookie Bryce Young at quarterback. Three touchdowns, one interception, 323 yards. Pretty good game from a rookie quarterback in an NFC Championship game. Going to be playing against the 9-8 and eight Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. So we had two 9-8 and eight teams that made it to the Super Bowl. They were 9-8, and eight, but they were still a number four seed. So that means that they won their division with a 9-8 and eight record. So they beat the Bengals 24-16. They beat the Titans 35-28. They beat the Ravens 31-27. Playing in the Super Bowl 
first quarter we're up 3-0 now we're losing 7-3 in the second now we're losing 14-3 in the second 14-6 we just keep kicking field goals we need a touchdown 17-13 now we're losing 24-13 in the third quarter fourth quarter we're losing by three points come on get this win now we're down by 10 and it's not gonna have 31 to 28 we lost 31 to 28 in the Super Bowl by three points man the Super Bowl 31 to 28 to win their first ever Super Bowl Stefan Diggs won Super Bowl MVP Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills Zach Taylor won coach of the year with the Bengals Juju Smith-Schuster won offensive player of the year with the Chiefs TJ Watt won defensive player of the year with the Steelers Bryce Young won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Giants, and Will Anderson won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Bears. Brandon Graham retired after 14 years, and Jason Kelsey retired after 13 years, so we're going to need a new defensive end and a new center. We have $58 million in cap space now, so I guess since those guys retired, it freed up some money. Jalen Hurts, we need to get him re-signed, so last time he got mad about the offer that we submitted to him, <laughs> he was like, don't disrespect my passion or something like that. I'm going to offer him a seven-year deal. Actually, let's go six-year and see if he'll sign it. Come on. He's coming back. Nice. We only got 18 million left, so... Luckily, we only have a couple of guys. Fletcher Cox, he's 33 years old. I want to bring him back, but I think that Darius Slay is probably the more important player. I don't know if we have enough. We have 18 million. He wants 18.4 million. Let's try to lower it down. He has a lot of interest in coming back, so... He's going to free agency. How much is it to franchise tag him? 26 million, holy crap. Gardner Johnson, he wants four years, 54 million. We have enough to offer it to him, but let's try this five year deal. He's not extremely interested in re-signing, so. He's coming back, nice. All right, we only got four million left, so not gonna be able to bring anybody else back. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Jalen Hurts is playing up to a 95 with Superstar. Miles Sanders jumped up to Superstar Dev. That running back only had Star Dev. I was hoping he was going to have Superstar. I guess we'll just keep rolling with Miles Sanders for now. AJ Brown went down to normal Dev, but he had, or not normal, Star Dev, and he has still a 96 overall. Devonta Smith is a 90 with Star. Addison only has Star Dev. He's an 81 overall. We need to get a new center. Duncan, maybe we can move him to center. We, I mean, he's technically a 72 playing up to a 75, so I mean, I'll look into that in a little bit. So I got Lane Johnson, Goddard to 92 with Stardev. Defensively, we need another defensive tackle since we lost Fletcher Cox, and then Brandon Graham retired, so we need, need another defensive end. So I got Bradbury and Gonzalez at corner. Gonzalez only had Stardev, but he's up to a 79, so we need a third cornerback. D tackle, DN, corner, and then we need a center. Free agency, I could only sign cornerback Amani or Warrior. I'm not exactly sure I pronounce his name, but I think that's it. So we only got 500,000 left. He's a 78 overall scheme fit with normal dev, 28 years old, got him on a one year deal. Here in the first round, we have pick 31 since we made it to the Super Bowl. All the guys that I had scouted are pretty much gone that were worth it up here in the first round. I mean, I have other guys scouted, but they're projected to go second to third round. But I was going to try to get a defensive tackle or a defensive end, but they're already all gone. So I'm going to draft this right guard, Daryl Vick, who's from Ole Miss. 6'6", six 342 pounds, uh, power fit, power scheme fit. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. He's 21 years old. He has elite change of direction for a guy that that's freaking big. That's crazy. Solid speed and good strength. He's got hit and dead with 88 strength. 60 change of direction as elite. All right, I guess so. Second round, we have uh, two picks here. So we got pick 16, and I think the other one's 31. So I'm going to draft this free safety, Anthony Lawrence from TCU. He's six foot two, 223 pounds. He's a really big guy for a safety. He's a run support, which is not a scheme fit, but all the safeties that I have, uh, there's the coverage revealed. He has the best. He has a C-man and C-zone. Plus, he has A tackle. 23 years old, so he's a little bit older. He has good change of direction with great strength. The speed is only decent. But we're going to hope that he's good enough to be a backup. 85 speed sucks, but does have hit and dev. I'm hoping he's going to be a backup this year, and then he can take over for Gardner Johnson next year. Since Gardner Johnson's getting older, and his, well, I mean, he's not necessarily getting older, but I think his contract's going to be running out. And we're going to have to start saving money in certain places. 
Here in the second round with another second round pick. Apparently we have three second round picks because I remember we traded for a second round pick. We traded those three guys away and then I guess we already had two second round picks. So we got this number 27 pick and then we got a 31 pick in the second round. I'm going to draft this defensive tackle, Kai Johnson from Penn State. He's 6'4", 299 pounds. He's a speed rusher. Got him 100% scouted. He's a true second to third round talent. 21 years old. He has elite acceleration with good agility, great jumping, elite speed, fastest 40 of all the defensive tackles. He has a lot of age, so I think we're getting a gym here in the second round. He only has normal dev, 81 speed, 85 strength. All right, still in the second round, our last pick that we have in the second round, 31. We're going to draft this outside linebacker, Andrew Gunter from UCLA. He's six foot, 233 pounds, pass coverage scheme fit. Dude looks like he could be a crazy athlete. He's 21 years old. He has uh, great acceleration, great agility, great change of direction, great jumping, elite speed. He has the fastest 40 of all the outside linebackers. He has the potential to have A in a few things. So here we go. Hit and dead with 87 speed. Dang, dude could play safety with that. In the third round, I'm going to draft this defensive end, Cade Britton from Georgia. He's 6'6", 265 pounds. He's a power rushing scheme fit. 21 years old, he has great acceleration, good change of direction with good speed and good strength. He's got hidden dev, nice, 80 speed with 84 strength. Here in the fourth round, I'm gonna draft this cornerback, Cortez Boone from Oklahoma. He's six foot, 205 pounds, zone scheme fit. Only got him 50% scouted, he's 22 years old. He has elite jumping with decent speed and great strength. You know, his man coverage is only a D, but he does have A catch and A press. And his zone coverage could be between a B to a D, so we're going to hope that it's B. He's got hidden dev. Awesome. 89 speed with 92 jumping. Checking out the draft recap. First round pick, Daryl Vick, the, the right guard. He's a 71 overall. The free safety in the second round was a 73 overall. The defensive tackle in the second round was a 72 overall. The outside linebacker is a 72 overall. The defensive end was a 68 in the third round, and then the fourth round, Cortez Boone was a 69 overall. I'll let the computer draft the rest of these guys. None of them had hidden dev. So we didn't necessarily get, like, you know, an elite rookie because they're not like 75 or over, but we've got a lot of guys that have hidden dev that have pr pretty good long term potential. Check out the entire NFL draft. Number one pick was a defensive end that was 77 overall, then went to the Colts, and then a 77 overall defensive end that went to the Seahawks. Highest in the draft was a 78 overall free safety that went to the Packers. Panthers got him a quarterback, 76 overall. Here's the starting lineup for season three. Jalen Hurts is up to a 92 with superstar. Sanders is a 91 with superstar. AJ Brown and Devontae Smith are both star dev. Addison's 80 with star in the slot. I moved Isaac over to center, and then we're going to start the rookie Vic at right guard. He's already a 74. He's playing up to the 74 with hidden dev. Rest of the offensive line looks awesome. Goddard still a 91 with star dev. Defensively, I did make some moves here. I moved Hassan Reddick down to defensive end. And then Gunter, the rookie with hidden dev, is going to be starting the outside linebacker. He's a, a pass coverage scheme fit. Also, Reddick is a scheme fit speed rusher over here at defensive end. So I'm just trying to get the best players that we have on the team on the field. Since we couldn't get another defensive end to replace Brandon Graham after he retired. Also, Williams is going to be starting at defensive tackle. He was already on the team. He's a, a 77 with normal dev, 25 years old, going into his fourth season. We got Davis at defensive tackle. He's 84 with superstar. Sweat, I moved him to left end. He's 86 with star dev. Gonzalez is a 79 with star. Bradbury is 86 with star. And then we brought in Aurorie at corner and free agency to be our slot corner. Gardner Johnson's at free safety. That uh, free safety we drafted, a rookie, he's going to be a backup for now. And then we still got Kazir White, Edwards, and Gunter at linebacker. Deshaun Elliott at strong safety. At the midseason point, we're off to a pretty bad start. We're 2-5, and five. the Cowboys are 5-2, and two. the Commanders are 3-4, and four, and the Giants are 2-5. and five. Definitely hoping that we're going to start off better than that. We got $39 million in cap space. Hassan Reddick is 29 years old, 87 overall, started to... I do want to bring him back, but I'm going to wait till the end of the year. Since he's 29, he might regress a little bit. Bradbury, I do want to bring him back too. He's 31, but I'm going to wait till the end of the year. He's probably going to go down to like 83 or 82 since he's 31. Josh Sweat, 27 years old. 86 overall with star dev. Definitely want to bring him back. He's interested in coming back. So I'm going to just offer him the, the deal he wants two years. 
He's coming back. Easy peasy. Landon Dickerson, the left guard, he's 25 years old, 83 overall with star dev. He needs a scheme fit. Definitely want to bring him back. I'm going to offer him the deal that he is looking for. Now we're down to 14 million in cap space. Isaac at center. Do we want to bring him back? Yeah, we might as well. He's 30 years old. I'm going to wait till the end of the year and see if he regresses a little bit so we can try to get him a little bit cheaper. And then I'm going to wait on everyone else. Regular season, we finished 8-9 and nine and did not make the playoffs. The Cowboys went 12-5, and five, the Giants went 11-6, and six, and the Commanders went 5-12. and 12. Let's see what happened over here in the stats. 11th ranked offense. Defensively, we were ranked 17th. So the defense was taking a little step back, which I expected it. Jalen Hurts threw for 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 66% completion with a 106.9 rating. That's a great season from him for sure. Miles Sanders had the most rushing yards, 881, 4.4 per carry with six touchdowns. He only played in 13 games, so he got injured. Jalen Hurts ran for 450 yards, 4.6 per carry with five touchdowns. Charbonnet came in, did pretty good for a backup. He had 400 yards, 3.9 per carry with 11 rushing touchdowns. That's pretty good production from the backup. AJ Brown had 1,100 yards, three touchdowns. Devontae Smith, 1,100 yards, 20 touchdowns. Holy crap. They were just throwing it to him every time in the red zone. Jordan Addison had 900 yards, two touchdowns. Dallas Goddard, 800 yards, four touchdowns at tight end. Kazir White led the team in tackles, 144. Edwards had 118. Hassan Reddick had 22 TFLs. Sweat had 12. Hassan Reddick led the team in sacks with 11. Sweat had 10 and a half. Milton Williams came in and gave us seven and a half sacks from the defensive tackle spot. That's freaking crazy, man. A Warrior had four interceptions. Bradbury had three. Lawrence, the rookie free safety, had two. Kazir White, Deshaun Elliott, and Christian Gonzalez had one interception. This had to be the most boring Super Bowl all time. The Giants beat the Steelers 10 to six in the Super Bowl to win their fifth Super Bowl. Kayvon Thibodeau won Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes won MVP of the regular season with the Chiefs. Chris Roberts won coach of the year with the Jets. Zeke Elliott won offensive player of the year with the Cowboys. Max Crosby won Defensive Player of the Year with the Raiders. We only have 5.7 million in cap space, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to bring back Hassan Reddick or James Bradbury or even Isaac at center. He wants 6 million. Pretty much just not going to sign any of these guys. Milton Williams, I'm surprised he didn't jump up to star dev after having that seven and a half sack season at defensive tackle. But yeah, moving on. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Jalen Hurts is playing up to a 97 with star or superstar dev. Sanders is a 93 with superstar. Pretty much we don't need anything on offense. Vic lost his hidden dev. What the heck? He's down to normal dev. And then we lost the center. So Duncan is going to be starting that center for us. Defensively. All right. Yeah. Uh, Kazir White lost his star dev. Gunter lost his hidden dev. Edwards still has normal dev. We need another defensive tackle. Defensive end, Johnson. He was a rookie last year, but I think he just had normal dev, though. I think it was this guy, Britton, Britton, that had hidden dev, but he lost it. The safety that we drafted, Lawrence, he had hidden dev, but he lost it, too, so not looking good. And then we only have one corner that's worth the crap. The other two are terrible, so we're going to have to do something about that. And we have no cap space. Awesome. I think we're going to have to move on from Dallas Goddard in order to free up some cap space because we got to do something about the defense. I mean, the offense is looking great, but we're just going to have to get rid of his salary. So I'm going to trade him away. Chargers were really interested in Dallas Goddard and I was able to get a second round pick from them. I tried to get a first round pick, but it wasn't enough. The little bit of cap room that we had, I was able to get James Bradbury back. I also got Russell Douglas. He's a 78 overall with normal dev scheme fit. And I also got Javon Hargrave at defensive tackle on a cheap deal, and we only got 160,000 left in cap space, so I did what I could. Here in the first round, we have pick number 14. I'm gonna draft this defensive tackle, Alex Meekins from Oregon State. He's a power rush and scheme fit. 6'1", 303 pounds, got him 95% scouted. He's projected to be the first or second rounder. He's 21 years old. We really need help on the defensive line. He has good agility, great change of direction with elite jumping, elite speed, and great strength. He's in the top five and a lot of stuff on the pro day and combine. He has A play rec, A power moves with B finesse moves. 
He only has no more dub, but I'm betting he's probably going to be like a 75 to maybe even up to a 79. He has 78 speed with 92 strength. In the second round, I'm going to draft this defensive tackle, Tony Spellman from Oklahoma State. 6'5", 309 pounds. He's a power rushing scheme fit. Once again, I got him 95% scouted. He's 21 years old. He looks like a great athlete. He has good acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, great jumping, great speed, and great strength. He has A play rec, B power moves, C finesse moves. No more dev once again. Dang, that sucks. 77 speed with 92 strength though. And I'm going to draft this outside linebacker D. Jones from Delaware State. He's 6'2", 243 pounds, speed rusher, so I'll be moving him to defensive end. I know I'm like drafting the defensive line heavy, but we really need help there. 21 years old. He has good acceleration with great speed. B finesse moves with B tackle, and his power moves could be between a B and a D. No more dev. Dang, I was hoping he was going to have hidden dev, but he has 84 speed. Checking out the draft recap, first round pick, defensive tackle was a 72 overall. And then the second round pick, defensive tackle was a 73. And then the other second round pick, defensive end was a 71. Third round pick, outside linebacker is a 68. We're going to be moving them to defensive end. So I'm going to go through and look at these four guys, figure out what position is best for them, defensive tackle or defensive end. And then end up starting whoever the best ones are. Let the computer draft the rest of these guys. Let's check out the entire NFL draft recap. Number one pick was a right tackle, 74 overall that went to the Lions. Highest in the entire draft was a 79 overall right tackle that went to the Patriots. 77 quarterback that went to the Washington. 77 wide receiver and a 77 corner. This is what the starting lineup looks like for season four. Jalen Hurts is a 94 superstar. Sanders is a 93 superstar. So we got A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith along with Addison at wide receiver. We got Vic at right guard. Duncan's going to be playing center for us. Calcaterra is going to be a starting that tight end for us at least this one year since we had to move on from Goddard. Our defense is the main issue that we have here. So what I'm doing is I moved Benjamin to defensive tackle since he's like 300 pounds. He does have hidden death so I might just make him a starter over Hargrave. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Might as well. I know we just paid Hargrave, but Johnson is the best speed rushing defensive end that we have. So he's going to be starting there as a rookie. He just has no more dev. I guess I'm going to trade Hargrave away to make sure that Benjamin gets the starter since he's got hit in dev. And then we still got Kazir White, Edwards, and Gunter at linebackers. Got Gonzalez. We brought Bradbury back. And then Russell Douglas is going to be playing in the slot for us. Garner Johnson's up to a 90 with star dev. So I guess the last thing to do is to trade Hargrave away and move on. Here at the midseason point, we're three and four, last in the division. The Cowboys are six and one. The Giants are four and three, and the Commanders are three and three. Check out what players we have to negotiate with. We got 74 million in cap space. Devontae Smith, Lane Johnson, Jordan Mal Malata, however you say his name, Bradbury, Kazir White. All right, let's start with Devontae Smith. He wants four years, 78 million off from that deal straight up and see what he says. It's exactly the offer that he wanted. Lane Johnson, I do want to bring him back for sure. He's 35, so he's definitely going to regress after this year. Can probably get him cheaper. He wants one year, 17.3 million. We might be able to get him for like 15 mil next year if he doesn't retire. Jordan Malata, definitely want to bring him back. He's extremely interested in coming back. Some offer from the deal that he's asking for. He's coming back. He's happy to be here. Bradbury's 32 years old. He's going to keep regressing. We'll see if we can upgrade him at the end of the year. And Kazir White. He only wants $4.5 That ain't nothing really, so I'm just going to offer it to him. He's coming back. He's leading the team in tackles every year, and he barely wants anything. So and we got N'Kobe Dean. Man, I forgot about him. End of the regular season, we went 8-9 and, and did not make the playoffs. The Cowboys went 12-5, and five, the Giants went 10-7, and seven, and the Commanders went 8-9. and nine. Check out the season stats. We had the 12th ranked offense, so I mean, I don't understand why we're not making the playoffs. Defense 16th, so I mean, defense ain't terrible. Jalen Hurts threw 4,700 yards, 40 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 67% completion with the 107 rating. Miles Sanders got injured again, ran for 600 yards, 4.2 per carry with only two touchdowns. And then Charbonnet came in and did not do great at all. He ran 349 yards, three yards per carry with six touchdowns. 
Devontae Smith had 1,100 yards receiving with 13 touchdowns. A.J. Brown, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Calcaterra had a great season, 900 yards, 11 touchdowns. Defensively, Kazir White led the team in tackles with 118. Jordan Davis had 14 TFLs. Tony Spellman, the rookie defensive tackle, had seven and a half sacks. Nice. Sweat had five and a half. Davis had four. Johnson had three. Bradbury had five interceptions. Kazir White had three. Elliott had three. And Gonzalez had one. Chiefs beat the Seahawks in the Super Bowl 29 to 24 to win their third Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills. Jay Gordon, whoever that is, won Coach of the Year with the Panthers. Zeke Elliott won Offensive Player of the Year with the Cowboys. And Josh Allen won Defensive Player of the Year with the Jaguars. All right, we got 30 million in cap space. So we're gonna have to be careful with what we do here. All right, I'm gonna definitely bring Lane Johnson back at right tackle. He's 36 years old, but he's still 87 overall with a superstar dev, definitely want him. He wants to go to free agency. What the heck, dude? I thought you were a lifer. How much is it to franchise tag him? 22.9 million, yeah, no thanks. I think that's pretty much gonna be it. I know we still need another cornerback, but See if we can get someone better than Russell Douglas. I mean, if we have to, we can get him back in free agency. And James Bradbury is 33 years old, so. I forgot about Grant Calcaterra. He's 27 years old, 70 overall with star depth. He just had a really good year for us at tight end. So last year, the rebuild, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring him back on a cheap deal so he can be our starter. Bump him up to a three-year deal. Nope, never mind. Checking out the team salaries and AJ Brown's on the last year of his deal. Dude's gonna be making 41.6 million for this year. That's freaking insane. That's way too much for any receiver. Gonna save 31 million if we cut him. He's 29 years old, he's still a 95 overall, so I mean, I still wanna get him, but I'm gonna release him and see if we can get him cheaper in free agency, cause that's way too much. 41 million, yeah, no thanks. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Jalen Hurts jumped up to X Factor, so that's great to see. It's, uh, we still need to try to bring back AJ Brown. I don't know. I mean, Smith and Addison are still pretty good, so technically we could roll with them and try to get a third receiver that's cheaper. Definitely need to try to get a right tackle. We could roll with the Eurosec at tight end if we need to, but we can try to get a new one also. Defensively, we still got the same linebackers. They've been doing okay for us. Kazir White's been leading the team in tackles every year, but he's still staying around the 80, 79, 80 overall. Definitely need to try to get another defensive tackle or defensive end. Preferably a pass rusher. And we still need to get another cornerback. Actually, we still need two more cornerbacks. So let's go into free agency and see how this falls out. Free agency, it didn't go as well as I wanted to. I tried to get AJ Brown back a wide receiver, but he had like 20 offers. So I, mean, I offered him a ton of money and he, we, we were in the top three, but he decided to go somewhere else instead. So I'm bringing Avante Maddox back at cornerback bringing in Tyler Smith at right tackle because I tried to get Lane Johnson and he just had zero interest in coming to the team even though I offered him a crap ton of money. Bringing in Sky Moore at wide receiver to be our third receiver. James Bradbury is coming back. He's only a 79 overall, but it's the best that I could get in the cornerback market. Also getting Jadavion Clowney. He's 33 years old, he's, but he's still a 78 overall. And I was checking out his stats and he's still been putting up great seasons for sacks. Last season with the Rams, he had 13 sacks, and then before that with the Falcons, he had 11, and then he had two years with 11 in Cleveland, so I think that he's gonna be a good pickup for us. And then the last person I was able to get was Grant Calcaterra, the tight end. I'm getting him back. He's 70 overall with star dev. He just had a great season for us, and he thought he was gonna go to free agency and get a big deal, but nobody was interested in him except for us, so we got him again. I'm just looking at the team before we go to the draft, and I think the biggest need that we have is a like a true number one cornerback, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to trade for a guy that's like high 80s or even in the 90s. See if we can get him, get him for like a first round pick or a couple first round picks. Instead of going to the draft and trying to draft one, we just get one that's ready to go right now. All right, so I was going through looking at a bunch of different trades and stuff and I decided to get Trayvon Diggs from the Lions. I have to give up a first round pick this year and next year and a second round pick this year. It's probably too much for like a real life trade, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it since it's the last year of the rebuild. Here in the draft in the third round, we don't have a first or second rounder since we traded it for Trayvon Diggs. I'm going to draft this outside linebacker Orlando Boyd from Clemson. He's 6'2", 221 pounds, and he's a pass coverage scheme fit. It looks like he might actually be really good. One thing I notice about these pass coverage linebackers is that they're always great athletes, which I mean you have to be in order to be a pass coverage linebacker, but 
He has elite acceleration, great agility, elite change of direction, good jumping, great speed, and good strength. He only has normal dev, dang it. 85 speed. I was just trying to see if we could get lucky and upgrade the linebacker spot through the draft real quick. Here in the fourth round, this safety looks like he might be pretty good. His name's Thad Lindsay from Marshall. He's 5'9", 210 pounds. He's a zone scheme fit. Only having 50% scouted, 21 years old. Great acceleration, and he has the solid agility, solid speed. But he has the potential to have A to C in his zone coverage and B to D in man coverage, so I'm just going to take a chance on him. Normal dev as expected. Checking out the draft recap, the linebacker I drafted in the third round is actually a 72 overall, so that's actually pretty good overall for a third round pick. He only has normal dev, which sucks, but I'll let the computer draft the rest of these guys. They don't look like they're worth a dang. See what the entire NFL draft recap is looking like. Defensive end got picked number one overall, Floyd Tigner. What the heck kind of name is that? 76 overall. Highest in the entire class was an 80 overall tight end that went to the Packers. And then a 78 overall safety that went in the second round to the Jaguars. This is what the team is looking like for the start of season five. Jalen Hurts is a 95 with X Factor. Sanders is a 92 with Superstar. Apparently the computer drafted a hidden dev running back and also a hidden dev quarterback. What the heck, I didn't even notice that. We got Devontae Smith being our number one now. Addison's gonna be our number two and then Sky Moore is gonna be playing in the slot for us. The offensive line is looking pretty decent. Obviously it sucks that we lost Lane Johnson, but it is what it is. Hopefully Calcaterra can have another great season for us at the tight end spot. Defensively, we're really hoping that Davion Clown is gonna be able to produce for us. We brought Trayvon Diggs in. He's up to a 94 with Superstar Dev. So we got the same linebackers for a while now. So we got Gardner Johnson at safety and then Deshaun Elliott. Davis is up to an 87 with Superstar and then Sweat is at an 88 with Star Dev. The midseason point, we're not off to the best start. We're last in the division with a 3 and 4 record. The Cowboys are 6 and 1, the Giants are 5 and 1, and the Commanders are 4 and 2. So hopefully we can have a bounce back second half of the season and make it to the playoffs. End of the regular season, we finished 10 and 7, and we managed to make it into the playoffs. It looks like the NFC East was going crazy. The Giants went 16 and 1. What the heck? The Commanders went 10 and 7, and the Cowboys went 9 and 8. Let's check out the season stats. We had the 12th ranked offense. Looks like Jalen Hurts had a pretty great season again. 18th ranked defense, so the defense wasn't as great as last year. 4,400 yards passing for Jalen Hurts, 37 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Wow, it's freaking insane, man. 68% completion with a 113 rating. Backup quarterback got in through three passes, had one touchdown for 100% completion with a 136 rating. Miles Sanders finally played all 17 games, had 1,200 yards, 4.7 per carry with seven touchdowns. Jalen Hurts had 400 yards rushing, 4.5 per carry with six touchdowns. And then Charbonnet had 269 yards, 4.6 per carry with 11 touchdowns. So getting good production from him. Devontae Smith had the most yards, 1,275 with 16 touchdowns. He's been putting up crazy numbers the entire rebuild. Sky Moore, 800 yards, nine touchdowns. Jordan Addison, 800 yards, two touchdowns. Calcaterra, almost 800 yards with five touchdowns. Miles Sanders, 400 yards, three touchdowns receiving. Defensively, Kazir White led the team in tackles again. He had 140. TJ Edwards had 135. Josh Sweat had 22 TFLs, nice. Sacks, Davion Clowney led the team with nine and a half. Got some great production from him. Josh Sweat, eight and a half, and then pretty much no one else did anything. That sucks. CJ Gardner Johnson had four interceptions. Deshaun Elliott and Trayvon Diggs both had two. And then Kazir White, Maddox, Gunter, Edwards, and Gonzalez had one interception. We're going to be playing against the 10 and 7 Cardinals in the wild card round of the playoffs. We also have the Buccaneers against the Panthers, the Vikings against the Commanders, and then the Giants with their 16 and 1 record had a first round bye week. We ended up beating the Cardinals 42 to 21. Nice. Now we're going to be playing against the 11 and 6 Minnesota Vikings in a divisional round. They just beat the Commanders 34 to 21. And then we have the Giants going against the Panthers. Sadly, we lost to the Vikings 20 to 16 in the divisional round, so we're no longer chasing that Super Bowl. The Vikings ended up beating the Chargers in the Super Bowl 36 to 28 to win their first ever Super Bowl. Andrew Booth Jr. won Super Bowl MVP. 
Bryce Young won MVP of the regular season with the Giants. Dang, they went 16 and 1, so he must have had a great season. Brian DeBall won Coach of the Year with the Giants. Najee Harris won Offensive Player of the Year with the Steelers. Nick Bosa won Defensive Player of the Year with the Giants. So they got Nick Bosa and Bryce Young on the Giants. This is what the final team is looking like. Jalen Hurts is up to a 99 X Factor. Sanders is a 93 with Superstar. Devontae Smith is a 93 with Superstar. Calcaterra is up to a 73 with Star Dev. Defensively, Davis is 89 with Superstar. Josh Sweat is 87 with Star. Trayvon Diggs lost to Superstar. He's down to Star, but still a 95. Gardner Johnson's up to Superstar with 91 overall. And Gunther jumped up to Star Dev, 79 overall. Deshaun Elliott lost his star dev. Overall, I mean, I think that the team did pretty good. Obviously, we made it to the Super Bowl one time and we lost, but I think that the problems that we had to deal with in this rebuild is similar to what the Eagles are going to have to deal with in real life. Whenever you have a whole bunch of really good players on your team that you're drafting, you're going to end up running into everyone wanting to get the most money possible. So you're going to start losing players because you're going to have to pay players for one. And then also they're going to have other teams trying to get them. So they're going to be trying to steal them from you. And at the same time, you can't pay everyone. You're going to run out of cap space. So you're going to have to pick and choose who you keep, who you let go, who you try to trade away. You have to keep trying to draft good to keep uh, filling the places that are going, getting emptied out by going to free agency or whatever. So that's going to be it for the video. If y'all like what y'all saw, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Make some suggestions down in the comments. What other type of rebuilds do y'all want to see? career simulations or just anything Madden experiment whatever i appreciate everyone for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one peace